Hey, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your boot camp to bottle workout. We're going to hit the entire body today, and Brittany is leading us through it all. Brittany is my personal trainer. She kicks my butt, and now she's going to kick yours. She'll be providing options throughout this entire workout today. I'll be doing the full Monty. The only thing you need today is a mat, possibly something to hydrate with, and a towel. To bottle circuit, let's get going. All right, guys, so we're going to get started with your boot camp today. We're going to start with our warm up. We're going to go for two rounds. So the first move, we're going to reverse lunge, arms in front, reverse lunge, turn the core, reach back, arms come forward, step it up. So we'll start here. One, good, two, big reach, three, two more, four, last one, five, and switch sides. One, Two, keep going. Three, four, last one. Five, good. Bring it center. Second part of our warm up. We're gonna go wide in our stance here. So we're gonna lunge to the right, back to center for a brief pause, take it to the left. Here we go, five each side. One, one, back to center. Two, two, chest stays up. Three, Three, four, four, core is tight. Here's five and five. Good job. All right, so we're gonna do an arm jack. This is like a jumping jack, but we are not jumping. So arms are extended. Right comes over left, left comes over right. So go at your own pace. You got 10 each side. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Last one, ten, and ten. All right, we got round two. We are back to those lunges. Second part of our warm up reverse lunge with a reach. Arms in front. Let's go. One, step it back. Two, good. Three, core stays tight. Four, squeeze that shoulder blade. Last one, five, big reach. Back to center, switch sides. All right, here we go. One, two, good. Three, four, last one, and five. All right, we're bringing it center on that mat. Side lunge, brief pause in the middle. Let's go to the right side, let's go. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, four. Last one each side. Five. Big stretch. Five. All right. We have those arm jacks. Shake it out. Here we go. Right over left, left over right. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Five. Five, big stretch. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. All right, guys, you should be warmed up. We're gonna get into our first circuit. We have a Tabata style workout today. We're gonna go three straight rounds. We're gonna start with legs. I like to call this drop it like a squat because that's what we will be doing our whole workout today for our legs. So. I'm gonna set a timer. It's gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And we're not gonna stop for three rounds, okay? So our first move is going to be one squat to one squat jump. So Lori will demonstrate for us. She's going to squat, perform a squat jump, okay? One squat, one squat jump. If you cannot jump or don't feel like jumping, you're going to squat to calf raise, okay? And that is okay. So we're gonna keep it at your pace, it's your workout. So our second move is going to be a wide stance squat, toes pointed out, core stays tight, shoulders back. We are pulsing in that squat here. When we're down here, we're gonna drive those knees back, okay? So our next move is a pop squat with a touchdown. So what that looks like, we start tall, pop down into a squat, right arm touches, back to center, and then we come 
and switch sides. So Lori is going to do the modification here. So that is our third move. Our last move, we're gonna be in a wide stance here. Arms behind the ears, we're not pulling on our head or our neck. We're gonna rotate to the right with the elbow and then to the left, squeezing your obliques here, okay? So a static hold here, working those obliques, okay? So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three rounds, no rest unless you absolutely need it, okay? All right, let's go. So we squat once, then calf raise. If you are feeling jumpy today, add that jump. If not, keep it at that calf raise. We got 10 seconds. Every time we're hitting low into that squat, you got it guys. Three, two, and one, good. So 10 second rest, we are gonna pulse in that sumo squat. Now we're not coming all the way down. We're keeping it right in the middle here. All right, 20 seconds guys, chest stays up. If you're looking at the floor, bring that face up. Put a smile on. Your workout will be 10 times better when you do. 10 seconds guys, you got this. No duck butts here. Two, one, we bring it up. So, two of those down. We have pop squat with an alternating touchdown. Lori's gonna do the jumpy version. I'm gonna show you modification. Let's go. So if you are not jumping, like Lori, you're gonna step it out to the side and touch the floor. We're alternating hands here. Chest stays up. If you can't touch the floor, Go as low as you can. We got three, two, one. 10 seconds. We're gonna hit that sumo squat. Hands behind the ears. We're gonna bend it out. Going to the right. Let's go. Squeeze those obliques. You got it, guys. You don't want to lean forward. We don't wanna be hunched over. We wanna stay nice and tall. Hands behind the head. We're not pulling on our neck. Just using those obliques to bend. Two, one, stand it up. All right, guys, we are back. Round two, one squat jump, one squat, or one squat to one calf raise. All right, let's go. 20 seconds, one squat, squat jump, or calf raise. One and one here. Big squeeze at the top on those glutes. You got it, guys. One and one. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Good job, guys. We're gonna pulse it in that sumo squat next. Oh. All right, let's take that wide stance. Let's go. We pulse it out here. Chest up. Eyes are looking forward. No need to look to the floor. You got it, guys. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Here we go. Two, one. All right, we have that pop squat next where you're alternating step out, but we have a touchdown switching arms. All right, let's go. Remember, it's okay to modify if you need to. If you're not feeling jumpy, do what feels good. Touch it down. We're still getting work done, but if you can, I want you jumping as high as you can. And rest. Good job, guys. We're gonna take it to that side bend next to finish. Round two, two, one, let's go. Right side, alternating sides here. Squeeze those obliques. You got it, guys. Go to where that range of motion feels good. You might be able to hit your knee. You might not, and that's okay. Most important thing is we squeeze. Two, one, stand it up. Round two is done. We have one more. One more of those. Back to our one squat, one squat jump, or calf raise. Let's go. One and one here. Come up on those toes if we aren't jumping. If you are jumping, push up through those calves. We squeeze at the top. You got it, guys. Good. Come on, three, two, one. Good job. All right, we pulse it next, guys. 
We're gonna hold it low. Two, one, let's go. We pulse it here. Core stays tight, I'm squeezing my glutes. Putting pressure through those heels. Knees are driving out. We are just chilling here for 10 more seconds. And then we do our pop jumps. Three, two, and one. We're about to jump it out, guys. You got this. Shake those legs out if you need to. Three, two, one, let's go. Alternate those hands that touch the ground. Chest stays up. No matter if we are sidestepping or jumping, your logo on your shirt always faces forward, as well as your eyes. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. We have one more to finish out legs. It's that side bend, finishing it out. Last one for our first circuit of boot camp. Hands behind, let's go. Core stays tight. Make sure you breathe. We are not rounding the elbows and shoulders. We're pushing them back. 10 seconds. Let's go, guys. You got it, Laurie. Two, one. Great job, guys. Circuit one is done. Circuit two coming right up. All right, guys, so we have circuit two coming up. So this is our cardio portion. So we're going two minutes of work. So our first move is going to do be a speed skater. So Lori's showing the full move here. We're jumping laterally side to side, pushing off as hard as you can with a nice controlled landing. So modification here is you're going to step back side to side in a mini curtsy lunge, alternating, okay? Our next move is going to be 10 pike jumps, okay? So we're in a plank position. Lori's gonna drive her toes in, pike up, then right back out to flat plank. To modify, we're gonna stay in that flat plank. You're going to lift your hips up and then flatten back out, no jump here, okay? So push back, nice to flat, so 10 of those. Two minutes, non-stop, you're counting your reps on this one, so this can be as hard or as easy as you want to make it, um, but I encourage you to push yourself when we do this. So two minutes, 10 second countdown. I'm gonna offer the modification, Laurie's gonna go full out on this one, okay? So, we have 10 second countdown, speed skater, five on each side, okay? Modify if you need to, jump it out if you can, okay? Two, one, let's go. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five. All right, we hit 10 planks, 10 pikes. So push the hips back, two, three, four, Five, using your core. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are back up. Quick breath, five each side. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Go at your own pace. Five and five. We take it to the floor for those pikes. On you, one, two, three, nice and controlled, four, keep it up, Lori, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We drive it up. We got 45 seconds, guys. Let's bust it out. One, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, you got it guys. Five and five. We have 30 seconds left in this cardio. Let's go. One, two, squeeze those abs. Three, four, five, halfway. Six, seven, eight, you got it. Nine, ten, ten seconds. Let's get one more set of those speed skaters in. One, one, two, two, let's finish it out. Three, three, four, four, five, and five. Woo! All right, guys, so section three of our boot camp. This is going to be all about your core. So I'm going to offer the modification 
um, for our core moves and Lori is going to do the full out version of them. So 20 seconds on again, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna keep it to three different ab moves. So we'll take it to the floor. So again, I'm performing modification. Lori is performing full out. So we have an alternating V up, okay? So arms extended, we'll go right arm to left leg, then right back, alternating side two, okay? So our next core move is going to be a crunch between the legs. You can place your hands together. You can put them on your knees if you need to. I'm gonna place mine together. We're gonna crunch, shoulders come off the ground. Every rep, okay, we're working those upper abs. And our final move for our core um, section is going to be a leg raise. So I like to place my hands in a diamond under my hips. So feet up, nice and controlled down. Try not to touch the ground. Every rep, legs are straight. Option here, if that is too bothersome on your back, we're going to bring the knees to the chest, then kick the feet back out, okay? So we have um, three straight rounds of this, okay? So 20 seconds on, um, 10 seconds off, okay? All right, let's get started. So 10 second countdown. We're gonna start with that alternating V up here, okay? So again, I'm modified, Lori is full out, arms extended, let's go. Alternating, crunching at the top. You meet in the middle, then we control it back. Keep it going guys, we have 10 seconds here. Squeeze those abs. Nice, all right, we have a crunch between the leg, next. Let's go. Shoulders are coming off the ground. We're nice and controlled coming back. You got it, guys. All right. We take it to our leg raise next. Hands under the hips. Legs are straight out. Let's go. So straight legs, if you can. If it bothers your back, knees come to chest. Then we kick them straight out. Core stays tight. We want to make sure we don't have a gap in our low back. All right, guys, we got 10 seconds here for rest. We are back to that alternating V up. Arms and legs extended. Let's go. Alternating, right arm to the left leg, left arm to right leg. Nice and controlled. 10 seconds here. Squeeze those abs, guys. Full extension. Three, two, one. We have crunches between the legs next. So go ahead and place those hands together. Let's go. Small sit up, squeezing those abs. We control back to our mat. Come on, 10 seconds. You got it, guys. Woo. All right. Leg raises to finish set two. We got it, guys. All right. So Lori is performing a straight leg raise. I'm performing a modification if this bothers your back. And that's okay, because we want to protect our low back so we don't have any injury or pain going on. All right, we have one more set, guys. One more set. Go ahead and extend for that alternating V up. Let's go. Last set of our abs, last three abs, before we take it to our next circuit. You got it. Come on, hold on to it. Awesome job, guys. We have those crunches between the legs next. Make sure you touch your breath here. 
All right, let's go. You got it, guys. Ten seconds. Come on. All right. One more ab. Our last circuit of abs for the day. We got that leg raise. All right, let's go. Last 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Hold on to it. Leg raise, if you can. In and out if you need to modify. Come on. Three, two, one. We are done with core. All right, guys, so we are on to our next portion of our boot camp. So this is all upper body and a little bit of plank series as well. So you saw you were done with core, but you're still gonna stay a little bit in there. So we have 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Our first move here, I'm gonna offer the modification, Lori is gonna do the full out, is we're going to be in a high plank. So you're going to do a lateral raise with your thumb down as you squeeze the shoulder blade and alternate sides here. Make sure your hips don't alternate. So upper body, arms move only, okay? So that is our first move. The next move, we're gonna take it to a flat plank. You can also modify by doing this plank on your knees, holding it high, or you can bring it down to the forearms, keeping the feet up. Full out is holding out those toes and legs extended, okay? Our third move is going to be a front raise. So just like our Side raise, our thumb was up. We're in that flat plank. Thumb is also facing up as we lift, okay? Alternating sides here. And our fourth and final move is going to be a plank on our forearms with a hip rotation. So we're hitting those obliques. So right side center, left side center, alternating side to side for 20 seconds, okay? So 20 seconds on. 10 seconds rest, three times through. Let's get it. 10 second countdown. So we start with that high plank, lateral raise here, okay? All right, let's go. Thumb faces down. When you drive that elbow up, squeeze your shoulder blade. Then nice and controlled, we are placing it back down, planting and switching sides. Hold on to it, guys. Two, one, let's rest. <laughs> we have a flat plank next. All right, guys. All right. Remember, I'm offering the modification. Lori has the full on here. Keeping your core tight on both moves. You can make this as hard or as easy as you need to, but do what feels right for you. Keep holding. You have three, two, one. All right, guys, our next move is that front raise. So we're gonna be in that high plank again. Thumb stays up, alternating sides. Let's go. Thumb is up, nice and controlled. Try not to rotate those hips. Plant and reach. 10 seconds. Nice and controlled. Thumbs are staying up. Getting a rotation on that shoulder. All right, guys, next move, we have a flat plank. We're doing those hip taps, side to side. Let's go. You want a brief pause in the center before you take it to the other side. Come on. We got three, two, one. Round one is done, guys. We got round two back to that lateral raise. Let's go. Thumbs down. Nice big squeeze. You feel those triceps working, those shoulders when we plant. Come on. You got it. Three, two, one. I'm my arm. 
<laughs> All right, guys. We got a flat plank hold here. Core stays tight. If you're modifying, bring your heels towards your glutes. Core stays tight. If you are not, I want you to flex those quads, squeeze your abs. We are holding tight here. We got three, two, one. All right. We have front raise next. So remember we're in that plank, thumbs up, alternating. Let's go. Lift and plant. Squeeze your abs and your glutes. You got it. Hips do not rotate. Slow it down. Make sure that form stays nice. Come on. Three, two, one. Almost done with round two, guys. We have that flat plank, side to side hip drop, okay? All right. Let's go. Brief pause in the middle. Every rep. Really engage those obliques here. 10 seconds. You got this. Round two is done. We got one more set of that, guys. One more. All right. Lateral raise. Let's go. Core stays tight. You got this. Come on. 10 seconds. Drive that elbow up and squeeze. Core stays tight. Whoo! You got it, guys. We have a flat plank next. You got this. Let's go. Make sure you're breathing, guys. We don't want to hold our breath. Our fists are not tight. We are nice and loose. We have 10 seconds of work. You can do this. You have five seconds. Two, one. Woo. You got it, guys. Front raise is next with that thumbs up. Let's go. You got it, Laura. Kicking butt, girl. <laughs> Come on. Core stays tight. Plant and reach. Thumbs up. You get a thumbs up for doing this workout today. Moving your body. And relax. One more move to finish out this plank series, guys. Side to side hip rotation. It's our last one. Let's go for it. Let's go. Nice and controlled. You want to feel those obliques stretch and then pull them back up with your belly button. You got it. Come on. Three, two, one. Woo, my arms are done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are at the last portion of our boot camp. We're gonna finish it up with the cardio. We're gonna finish strong. So we have five um, reverse lunges on each leg. So Lori's gonna show us that. So reverse lunge, nice and low, step to center, every rep, five each side, 10 total. Um, to modify, you're gonna do a squat if the lunge is not happening for you, okay? So just keeping it at a body weight squat for five, okay? So our next move is gonna be for 10. It is a seal jack. So. Option one is to perform the jumping jack with your arms going horizontally rather than vertically, okay? Option two is to sidestep it out. I will be performing that option. Lori's gonna hit the full on. Um, two minutes of work, no rest in this one. This is at your own pace. Five reverse lunges or squats and 10 of those seal jacks, okay? So two minutes of work. We have a 10 second countdown. We start with that reverse lunge. I'm gonna offer the squat. Lori is going to offer the reverse lunge. All right, guys. Last portion of our workout here. Three, four. Squeeze the glutes at the top on both moves. All right. So once you hit that, you got that seal jack. Ten of those. Four, four, five, five. 
All right, back to the fives. Reverse lunger squat, two, three, four, and five, good. We got that seal jack next. So, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Remember, Lori's hitting 10 of those seal jacks. I was hitting 10 of those side steps here, five each side, okay? You got it, Lori. What number you got, girl? Five and five. Let's hit those jacks. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. We have 45 seconds left. Let's get it, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. You got it. 30 seconds. One, two, two. Last bit of cardio. Three, four, four, five, five. Let's get it. Come on, Lori. We got 20 seconds. Three, four, five. We finished out here. 10 seconds left. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. That was on time. Whew, that was good. All right, guys, it's time to cool it down. We work those quads, glutes, and hamstrings a lot during this workout. We're gonna do a split um, hamstring stretch here. So, right leg out in the front. So we're gonna lean forward. Toes pointed up if you can. We're just gonna stretch, set the hips back. And when you feel good, switch sides. Push the butt back, toes come up. Get a nice stretch in that hamstring. And when you feel good, we're coming up. So right arm, we're gonna take it and grab that elbow. So we're gonna stretch that shoulder. We hit a lot in those planks. And when you feel good, we switch sides. And we're gonna take our arms overhead. Nice big stretch, reach up, stretch that core. Open the chest, elbows back. One more time, back up. Big stretch, take it back, open the chest. And that completes our workout today. Thanks for joining me.